very kind of wobbly um, disability and it makes me prone to kind of joint pain and spontaneous dislocations, which is a lot of fun. <laughs> um, this is the first poem I've written on it, um, content warning for ableism and a reclaimed slur. Bright. This is the year that disability really becomes a part of my identity. No longer just a question mark in the margin or a scribbled out note. I've moved on from lazy, from growing pains, left behind teenage hypochondriac. It's not just hormones and hyperbole, no contradictory diagnoses given by exasperated doctors. These days it's what your mother's got, now genetic and a 50% chance of passing down. You think they'd check for that. It's prioritizing my pain over my books in my school bag, a taking the mobility issues box of every medical form. It's fearing exams, not for questions like what does defragmentation do in a computer system, but instead, what if my shoulder shifts out of its socket? I've picked up cripple punk and ranting about ableism, I've realized that this is a voice that few will stand up for. Even amongst advocates and activists, a ring of radical left, I am still the only one fighting this corner because nobody else is sure how or why. They try. One picks me up like porcelain, promises to glue back together my broken parts, and literally carries me across campus. He wants to fix and safeguard, sees me as fragile, a thing to be cared for. Two treats me like anyone else, only flares up when my symptoms do. They keep an eye on my limits, don't let me push myself into obvious breakdown. I don't know if it's for my sake or theirs. Three calls me inspirational. I bite my tongue on the words knife punctures shattered throughout this community. I only do what anyone else would given this situation. I only manage as best I can. He offers to wash my hair for me when my arms grow tired. I make jokes about my joints. They get out more than I do and push myself too hard and get blackouts at the top of stairs and tell people I'm okay. I've got this. I just left my blood pressure on the bottom step. I don't say I'm scared, but I don't know what to do. I don't tell them that I'm grieving all the futures I could never live. I never wanted to be an Olympian, but it would have been nice to have the choice. I never wanted to go exploring, adventuring in new lands. I never wanted to be an artist. I never wanted to walk without tripping, tripping, tripping. I never wanted to be disabled. Ableism is proving to be the hardest internalization to be. This is the year that disability really becomes a part of my identity. I laugh when I trip up and contemplate a pair of bright yellow crutches. <laughs> <laughs>